Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 10 minutes after 6, and there are a few showers that are moving across western parts of Wisconsin right now as we still have some mainly cloudy skies hanging around as well. Now, there is a little bit of clearing off towards the west, and we'll get in on that later this morning into the afternoon. But today, overall, going to look very similar to yesterday. In that, we'll start with some cloud cover. We'll get in on some intervals of sunshine by the late morning, early afternoon. But we'll have that daytime heating driven pop up shower storm moving through uh, later on this afternoon. But again, most of which is around the I-94 corridor right now, stretching from Eau Claire out towards parts of St. Croix County. Now, we'll have those chances at some pop up showers and storms over the next couple of days into about Wednesday before we start to see changes heading our way and temperatures going to slowly warm up, especially once we get towards the latter half of the work week. That's where we dry things out as well. And we're talking temperatures that may approach the upper 80s and even low 90s by this weekend. We haven't hit 90 degrees yet in Eau Claire, but we do start off mostly in the mid to upper 60s and low 70s throughout the morning with some cloud cover hanging around before we get in on more sunshine late morning and early afternoon. Currently 65 degrees in Eau Claire. Most of us in the 60s. We've had a couple 70s further towards the south and a few 50s further towards the north. So really the key takeaway is that we have a wide range of temperatures across the state. Winds have been pretty calm across the board though. There's just a couple places that are anywhere from about three to eight miles per hour. But we do have that abundance of low level moisture being that we have those dew points that are in the low to mid 60s. So there is noticeable mugginess as you head out the door for today. And again, this is what's going to drive those chances at pop up showers and storms as we do warm things up over the next couple of days with a little bit of sunshine. Now for the next couple of days, we'll have that uh, stickiness hanging around, meaning that we'll have dew points that are mostly in the mid to upper 60s. Wednesday, maybe slight improvement, but later this week, that humidity going to make a return. Dew points may even be in the upper 60s, potentially even low 70s. Otherwise, for today, again, starting off with the cloud cover, but we get in on that clearing that's currently off to our west. But with more of that sunshine, more of that daytime heating, that brings those chances at pop-up showers and storms, which will take through the afternoon. But going into tonight, much like yesterday, that's where we'll, or last night, I should say, that's where we start to clear things out. But the difference is we'll likely start off with some of that sunshine for tomorrow. But again, more chances for pop-up showers and storms. So really, not going to be a washout over the next couple of days, but we'll keep those chances hanging around through about Wednesday before we get those improvements heading our way on Thursday. Temperatures for today likely getting a little bit warmer than yesterday, topping out in the low 80s. Mind you, for reference, our average high in Eau Claire this time of year is 83 degrees before later on tonight falling to the low 60s. A couple places may fall to the upper 50s under a partly cloudy sky. Next couple of days in the Cooley region hanging out in the mid 80s, that noticeable humidity hanging around as well with chances that pop up showers and storms. But things going to feel a little bit more like summer, especially towards the latter half of the work week into the weekend. That humidity making a return after a little bit of a break for Wednesday and Thursday. And that's where those temperatures climb back to the upper 80s and low 90s. And factoring in that humidity may even feel like it's in the low to mid 90s for the most part. Now for a Sunshine Award, Nancy Thompson would like to nominate the Mayo Clinic Health System Luther Hospital and says, my heart doctors and all the nurses and CNAs did an outstanding job. Thank you for saving my life. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.